So here we're standing next to another one of our species that defines timberline, and that is our Tsuga mertensiana, or mountain hemlock. And our mountain hemlock are well adapted to environments ranging from about 4,000 to 10,000 feet in elevation. They have a very high sugary sap content, which enables them to flex with the snow loads. And in fact, if you've ever gone skiing on a warm day, and you've seen what look like these snow figures or snow people off in the distance, <clears throat> and then some of that snow melts, they can sometimes fling some of that snow back onto you. So very well adapted to these environments. In terms of key identifying characteristics, one of the most common for the genus is the drooping leader. So that's characteristic of Artsugas, both Tsuga mertensiana and Tsuga heterophylla. One of the key characteristics distinguishing our Tsuga mertensiana or mountain hemlock from Tsuga heterophylla are these star-like clusters. So they look almost like stars or asterisks densely clustered at the end of each twig. Each of those needles is only about a half inch to three quarters of an inch in length. So fairly short needles, but star-like in appearance, um, fairly densely packed clusters of needles. And again, the drooping leader are the key characteristics for this species. So it's very well adapted to our subalpine environments. You often will find it in association with Pinus albicollis or white bark pine. And in the understory, it's not that uncommon to see things like our lupin and our buckwheat as well in these subalpine environments. At lower elevations or lower ends of its range, your Tsuga mertensiana will be found in association with species such as the Pinus contorta, Varlatifolia, or even your Douglas fir, the Pseudotsuga menziaceae, and Pisae engelmanii, the um, Engelmann spruce. The twigs are slender and flexible and moderately stout and again really designed to bear those snow loads. So the bark on these trees begins to break up fairly early in life and in fact on your large trees it will develop these narrow ridges or even furrows. So these trees have such a high sap content that if you actually if you put them in a river they will actually sink. So this is a really interesting environment that we're standing on here at Mount Hood where you have trees that sink and rocks like pumice that will actually float. The cones compared to the, on the Tsuga mertensiana compared to Tsuga heterophylla are quite a bit longer. So on mertensiana, they're anywhere from one and a quarter to three inches long. Whereas on Tsuga heterophylla, they're closer to three quarters to maybe an inch in length. So this is a very important species for subalpine environments and one that is fairly easy to identify with the drooping leader and the star-like clusters.